Hello, it's Jeannie. How are you? I hope you're well, as always. We are doing very well and getting settled again. <laughs> I keep saying that it's going to be a while. I'm doing this recording much earlier in the morning because the noises start when I like to normally record. Um, and right now this room picks up everything. It just, every noise just comes in. So the earlier I record, the better. My face is a little morning puffy, but oh well. <laughs> so, today's video, I'm really excited to share with you because I feel like I scored something that is super, super cool. Let me show you. Now, I bought this in California before we left for Texas. And I packed it up super well, wrapped it up super well. And, you know, it went with all our stuff in the containers. And I couldn't wait to find it. Look what it is. Is the Montgomery Ward catalog. Look how fat that is. From 1958-1959. Now the reason I love this is because it's retro for me. Many of you love the 70s and and eighties, sixties, seventies, and even into the eighties as a retro look back. Those were my days. So it's memories for me, not necessarily a glimpse into a time that I wish I had been in. Like some of you have mentioned you think, oh I wish I had lived in the seventies or whatnot. And an interesting thing about that Sorry for the noise. When I talk about the 60s and 70s, I come from it, or I come to it from a very um, happy place, a very peaceful and loving and wonderful place. But it isn't like there wasn't turmoil in the world. There was. Um, and every decade, I think, you have to remember, every decade has its history of turmoil. Now, the nice thing about it for me and others and all my friends back then is we didn't have the news 24-7 just bombarding us with it. And as kids, as teenagers in the 70s, we weren't tuned into the five o'clock news or the six o'clock news as much as, you know, um, perhaps our parents were. We just didn't care. Some of us. I don't speak for everyone in my generation. You know, there and for the 60s, there was a lot of um, civil rights movements and riots. And I had glimpses of that, glimpses of that. There were the Manson murders, you know, um, I won't even go into all that. Um, there was the Vietnam War, you know, late 60s, early 70s, you know, that kind of thing. And the unre- you know, it, things that splashed the newspapers, but we weren't interested in those. We were interested in going out, riding our bikes, finding our friends, that kind of thing. As I've mentioned before, I grew up in a very mixed neighborhood. There were, there were just 
lots of different races, ethnicities, um, religions, but it just wasn't something we noticed. It was not a big deal. It just wasn't. It was a non-issue in my greater neighborhood. Now, um, were there injustices, you know, going on around us? I'm sure there were. But we didn't notice them. We all us kids just played together. And, um, and I'm glad I have that. Now, where I grew up in San Jose, we were about 45 minutes to an hour away from San Francisco. And San Francisco in the 60s and 70s was the hub of, you know, free love and drugs and, you know, peace out and, you know, that whole thing, the psychedelic era. But that didn't touch us. It just, it just had no effect on us. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, I listened to my father and I, you know how I feel about my father and his amazing influence on not only my life, but so many. He grew up in the 20s and 30s. And one of his best friends was a young black fellow. And he and my father used to go up onto one of the drying sheds for apricots in the orchards and smoke. They learned to smoke together. Anyway, many years later, one of my youngest kids, my son, had a teacher and she was a black woman. And one day she pulled me aside, like in the first week, and she said, I was looking at your emergency list for your son and I saw your mom and dad's name and their last name. He wouldn't happen to be this person, would he? And I said, yes, that is my dad. She goes, oh my gosh. She goes, my older brother was so-and-so, and they were the ones who used to smoke on the drying shed roofs and get into all kinds of mischief. They were troublemakers <laughs> of their time. And she said, those were the best days of my brother's life. Uh, you know, and they were friends for decades. And so I told my father that, and, and her her brother had died, and so, but anyway, it was just, you know, friends were who you found in your neighborhood, and it didn't matter what color they were, what religion they were, you know, that's, that's what I know, and I know it isn't the same for everyone, but that's where I come from, and that's my perspective. So there's a lot of blah, blah, blah on that. <laughs> so, now, let's go back to this Montgomery Ward catalog. And as I said, this thing is super fat. Let me tell you how many pages are in it. And no, we're not going to go through every page. Oh my goodness. There's a thousand ninety-one pages. I'm just thinking about the cost, and the time, and the effort to put this thing together. So 1958, 1959, Montgomery Wards. So what I'm going to do is walk through some of this with you. And, of course, <laughs> make my comments. Most of this I just really dig. I just think it's so cool. We don't see a lot of diversity. You just didn't back then. And I can't undo that. But I can enjoy what I do see, what I do find in this. The retro styles and fashions and the times. Just the times of what was popular and what was new and what was cutting edge for them. 
So here we go. This is going to be a long blah 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 look through and I hope you enjoy it. So here we are, the 1958-59, for convenient phone ordering, see pages 1066. I kind of like this suit, I have to say. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So we're gonna start off with coats. And I tell you, I love every single one of these. Look at that. Okay, so let's look at the prices of these jackets. Let's just pick this one, F. The Heavenly Crescent Silhouette, mobile and free, carrying you with graceful motion toward this new age of ease. Okay, so it's 100% wool. The collar is mink. And I think fur back then was just very common. And it is what it is. I don't buy fur. But anyway... It's easy to wear and truly flattering satin lining and 100% wool interlining. And it comes in taupe, brown, or black. And um, listen to the sizes. They start in size 10, go to 12, 14, 16, and 18. Pretty much all of them do. Uh, the cost was $129. These two-piece suits. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. I love these. I would so wear these. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm this fashion. I have not looked through this book yet, okay? So you are seeing it the first time I am. And I think this is just amazing. I love this. Look at that. Holy moly. Okay, mink furs. Wow. Wow. So how much was a oh, beaver. It was okay. It's amazingly like beaver, but it's not. It's the look of expensive fur. So there we go. Yay. Cashmere. Oh, these. I just love how these models are posing. I would wear that in a heartbeat. It's like a knit um, L. Yes, and a, a Montgomery Ward exclusive. So that is so cool. All wool, load and cloth. That's cool. And I love these jackets too. I wish they had things like that today. I don't see them, if they do. Okay, back to fur, real fur. Um, gee, $189. Country coats with city ways. <laughs> My mom had a coat just like this. Just like this. 
Wow. Tweed. It was a tweed coat just like that. And that makes sense. $19. I am just loving this. If you know fashion designers, tell them to bring these coats back because as fashion, this is just amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, look-alike fur fashions. I like that. Oh, I love this, this princess cut. It's very, very flattering. I know I'm just like going on and on and on, but these, I just love this. I love this style. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm gonna speed ahead. There's a lot of coats here. Oh my golly. Oh, 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 look what I see. Look what I see. Oh, I love this coat, by the way. I really love this coat. But look at this. See, look what's coming up. Hats. Hats. Oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful hats. I'm calling this the dinner plate hat. They call it Z. Uh, Z. The draped plateau. Oh my gosh. Oh, hats. And more hats. Here's the upside down serving dish. <laughs> oh, I love these. Sorry, the pages are so loud. Look at her face. Wow, can you see that? Let me see if I can zoom in on that face for you. She looks kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. Hats, hats, hats. And, oh, wow. We're getting into some color now. I love these pleated skirts. I wore pleat these. I wore things like this in the 70s, you know, so. Oh. Sweaters. I don't know how to turn the pages more quietly, sorry. I just, I'm just loving this fashion. And blouses, really pretty blouses. And they run about $5.98, $4.98 to about $7.98. Ah, the initial monogrammed blouse. Women are just so cute in their little trousers. And more skirts. Skirts. Okay. I bet there's tons of skirts. Yeah. Lots and lots of skirts. Oh my goodness. These dresses. The softness of wool jersey. Oh, these are just... I'm in heaven. I love, love, love this. Oh. I would wear any one of these. Look at that tiny waist. Oh my goodness. Wow. I wonder if this was doctored. I don't know. This looks more natural, but some of these waistlines are... Oh, when you're dressing for two maternity styles. 
Oh, they're so cute. Mm. The lithe, lovely look for glamorous hours. So velvet, ooh. Straight from Paris styling. Oh my goodness, I'm just dying with these. They're so beautiful. I love this style. For a festive season of elegance and special occasions. Oh, wow. Look at these dresses. Sorry for the shadow. Exciting Paris silhouettes from <laughs> 10 to 11 dollars. Oh my goodness, I'm, I just wish this would come back as like, I, I know it's not easy to wear according to today's standards. I mean, for me, I throw on a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and, you know, that's it. I call it a day if I'm not going anywhere. But gosh, I would just love this. And these are just like their cotton house dresses. Oh, I love polka dots. I love polka dots. Any two for eleven dollars. Oh, I'm gonna send in. <laughs> I'm gonna send in for a whole bunch. Okay, sleepwear. Oh wow, look at this robe. These long robes. That is so awesome. Okay, nursing or mm, easy care. Uniforms, yeah. So, women in white. So, if you're a nurse or any kind of other profession. Oh, and the gloves, of course. Of course, we have gloves. Let's see. And handbags. Oh, these are just so fantastic. beyond beyond I love this more skirts wow it just okay so now we're into teens the teen fashions so pretty much the same as women oh man these are cute when I used to come home um, from school in the mm, early 70s, I used to watch reruns of the Mickey Mouse Club with Annette Funicello, and I loved them. They were in black and white, and the girls dressed like this, and I just loved it. I loved it even then. Come on, pages. Oh, look at these petticoats and the pajamas and slips. Oh my gosh, even the slips were just so pretty. Wow, lots of slips, lots of slips. So winter weight, what are these? E, C, D, E. It's a, it's a gown. Hmm, I don't know if it's a slip or a dress or a nightgown. I can't figure it out. Hmm. 
more pajamas, very chic. Quilted pajamas. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, these are great, I love these. Look at all these pajamas. And they even come with little booties here. A lot of flannel. I tell you, I'm a, um, I sleep very hot. I get very hot and I move around a lot. So that's why I was never really able to wear these long nightgowns because they'd get twisted around my legs. Long underwear and more long underwear. <clears throat> oh, wow. Interesting. Just so interesting. Look at these underwear. Some of them are like bloomers. <laughs> Now, I have to admit, growing up, these are the kind of panties we wore, you know? The kind that went way above your waist. They didn't have hip huggers and, you know, bikini. There are these great big granny panties, you know? It's just what they were. Okay, here we go into the girdles, because women wore girdles. I just think, you know, how do you have molded latex? Do you know how much I would be sweating in those? And the thing about these, for me anyway, you know, they show these slim, trim women wearing girdles, but with anybody with any kind of skin, it's pooching over and that's going to show, which is why I suppose they have these full length ones. This would look terrible on me in a dress because I'd be pouring out over all the lines. So I, I would need the full, the full coverage. But oh my goodness, the sweating that must have gone on. Oh, the clamminess. Girdle after girdle after girdle. Look at this. And here, you can cinch them up even more. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, we, wow, we. Just so it. And then the bullet bras. You know, just. Some of these bra things are cute, but man, these bullet bras. The women wore these under their sweaters and it looked like bullets. Oh my goodness. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> oh gee. All right, for the mother to be, girdles for the mother to be. Now I know some, there are support things for some women um, who need them, but just to try to hide the maternity, that's ouch, just ouch. And then nylons, ooh, with the seam in the back. Here we go, beauty and fashion. Oh, look at the socks real quick. Look at the socks. Cute, cute. 
Okay, so the hair dryer where you sat and you couldn't move, you know, and then the electric razor. Hair dryers. Wow, the, the that's so cool. I didn't know they had these portable hair dryers back then, the smaller ones. Okay, wrinkle cream, pimple cream, and flaky skin cream. And all the normal cleansers and mascaras. Okay, another fetish of mine, shoes. I love shoes. So these are stormy day boots. And, oh, these are cute. Oh, these are so cute. I would wear these. I love these. Oh man, I am just such a fan. I am loving this. Wow. And then flats. Oh my goodness, look how cute these flats are. $4.98. Oh, I love these. These were very popular, the uh, saddle shoes, we called them, growing up. Okay, kind of nursing shoe for nurses, perhaps. I get through this. Slippers. Oh, these are cute, very much like today. Yeah. Every Christmas, I got a new pair of slippers. <laughs> that was a standard. Okay, so let's see. Kind of sewing, scissors, fabrics. Okay. Oh wow, look at all the different wool blends um, and patterns you could buy. So how much is it? $4.47 a yard. Wow, that's not cheap for back then. Um, wow. Okay, let's, so this is all fabrics. I'll scoot forward. Kids, oh, I wore these. We wore these. Long knee high textured socks. Okay, girls, girls' dresses, okay, and jackets. It's interesting how they kind of skip around. I guess the one before was teens, and now we're into um, sizes 7 to 14, so maybe pre teen. I haven't seen boys yet. Oh, pajamas. Oh, boys, here we go. Oh, look how cute they look. Oh, my gosh. They're adorable. That is so cute. Every year, my mom would butcher my bangs. This little girl, she got butchered by her mom. I just know it. Look at this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Every year, my mom would butcher my bangs. And sometimes I had to go get them fixed. One year, she even cut off a tip of my brother's ear because he was squirming around. She didn't mean to, of course but he was all squirrely and she's trying to cut and she snipped a little piece of his skin. <laughs> oh, the 
these girls' dresses are so cute. Little snow outfits. Wow. Okay. So now we're getting into the. Um, I'm taking chunks of pages to try to get through. Okay, diapers. Now, when my kids were babies, they started, of course, with the um, disposable, but they were so bad. They didn't have the gathery legs and stuff would come out and it was just a hot mess. So I used um, diapers and a diaper service. So you just kinda, you know, cleaned them up a little bit and put them in a pail and they got picked up once a week and you got new ones. Jammies. Okay, oh look at this, look at that crib. Look at this. Let me show you this. That is kind of cool. Oops, wrong way. Look at that. So she can sit in there and put baby to sleep. It's kind of cool. All these cribs with big slats. Oh, all the furniture, the bedroom furniture. Now, here we go. Safety. Safety first. These are the car seats. These are the car seats. Oh my goodness. Let's look at these. Let me zoom in. Okay. So these are little beds that you could put your babies in. And these are the car seats. And they just sling over the back. And they have a little rubber plastic, plastic belt. And if you hit the brakes, <laughs> their heads go smashing on the toy um, steering wheel. Oh my goodness. But th this is the way it was. You know, this is the way it was. And here we are, we survived. Wow. Okay, let me zoom back. Okay, now we're going to get into, oh, toys, dolls, doll houses, train sets, pogo sticks. I had a pogo stick, and let me tell you, I could go up and down the street on my pogo stick, up and down. I do remember crashing once in front of some boys and I was, I, oh, I wanted to die out of embarrassment more than anything. Okay. All right, boots and shoes. Oh, tap shoes. And let me tell you, I used to take tap dancing lessons and these would be your first tap shoes. They were the, the beginning kind and I did ballet as well. But I loved tap, and I loved it when I graduated to tap shoes with a heel because that meant you were a better tap dancer and you were older. And we used to travel around uh, and do dance. I was with a group, um, um, a troupe, and we danced and performed. And yeah, I think I did that until I was 14 years old dancing. Okay, the boys. Oh my gosh, look at these sweaters. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna take some some chunky page pages and go forward. Because I need to there's a thousand eleven hundred pages in this. Ooh, look how cute these boys are. Oh, they're so dapper. So dapper. Wash and wear Orlon wool flannel six ninety-eight. Jackets. Okay, now we're getting up into kind of the young men. Men. 
shoes. Sorry if I'm skipping too much, but just in the trying to, you know, watch time here. Men's pajamas. And sweaters. Oh, come on. That is just so cool. <laughs> and kind of the Ivy League letter sweaters, you know, a letterman sweater. Ooh, Western shirts. Oh, that is just so cool. I love that. Okay, men's underwear. So we have the whitey tidies and boxers, basically. And long underwear. Can't forget the long underwear. Socks and belts. Boy, Montgomery Wards had it all. Work uniforms. Yeah. Raincoats, overalls. Okay, here we go. Home fashions. Chenille bedspread. I love chenille bedspreads. I just think they're so cool. All the cute ruffles. It's not too... Oh, look at this. Look at these ponies. These little western cowboy. That's so cool. My brother would have loved that. My mom decorated his room more in the brown plaids. My brother, my older brother. Then sheets and towels, and again, these nice, thin, cottony, rough towels. I love that. I'm, I still love those. The big velvety blanket types. Oh, I can't stand those. Okay. Kind of tableware, tablecloths. Blankets and electric blankets. Oh, look it. This was left in there. From New Holland, Pennsylvania. What is the date? It doesn't say the date. Hmm. One and a half cent. Okay, so mattress pad covers, things like that. Storage for your clothes. Old Spice, oh my gosh. So men's grooming, electric razors. My dad used this forever. He always used a brush and a double-edged razor to shave. Oh my goodness, you can even get vitamins here. Look at this cod liver oil. Wow. Geritol. Okay, so now we're back to what? Pantyhouse? Okay, ooh. Interesting. These, this is a womb supporter. 33. Um, lightweight, strong leather. Oh, Lord. Cloth lined. Um, rubber under straps. It's also for abdominal support. Interesting. Now, hmm. I also wonder if that could be for like hernia support too. 
Yeah, that very well could be. Um, yeah, I'll bet some of these. Yeah, look at this. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Scrotal trusses. <laughs> this is for hernias, I think. My son, one of our sons, had hernias. And it was painful. Very, very painful. He had to have surgery for them and a mesh put in to support it. But I think that's what this is. Oh, look at this. Oh. this feminine hygiene care. Oh my goodness. Okay, scales and bathroom plates and dishes. Knives. Okay, and so let's see. We've got briefcases and trunks. Oh, and jewelry. Oh, how cute. I love this. Cuckoo club. Okay. Watches. They really did have everything. Wow. Okay, we're back to bathroom rugs and shelving. Shower curtains. No, no, these, <laughs> it looks like a shower curtain. That's a drape for a window. Okay. <laughs> oh, this was a very popular pattern for boys. This cowboy thing, this the whole theme of cowboys. Okay, now let's go into some of the furniture. And I think these are furniture covers here. This book has not been looked at in a long time. So again, fabrics for your furniture. Lamps, oh, very, very of the time, you know. So you had the kind of the cutesy and then more of the sleek, mid-century modern look coming in. And milk glass, milk glass was very popular too. Look at this modern furniture, wow. Lots of ashtrays. <laughs> Look at these recliner chairs. Oh my goodness. Look at this big furniture. Oh, I think this is just so cool. Look at that. I love this. I love this retro look. I wouldn't do it, but I love to look at it. Okay, furniture, and I'm only on page 679, so I'm gonna take some bigger chunks. Oh, look at these tables, oh my gosh, we had something like this. And mattresses. Okay, let me, oh my, look at these. Look at these mattresses. So different than today. And again, more picking out of your fabric for um, maybe carpet. Yeah, this is all carpet. And rugs. Oh my gosh. 
we had something like this without the green, but it was very similar in our kitchen growing up. Okay, I'm gonna take a chunk here. So we've got appliances that I'm going through. Garbage cans, they have everything at Montgomery Wards. Look at that. I mean, everything. Bowls and knives. Oh my gosh. I'm just so in love. Look at that washer and dryer. True story. We used to have one similar to this, not in pink. It was white. And it had a latch. And we were playing hide and go seek and I decided to go in there hide. My brother told me to, so I did. And he latched me in and it had a latch and you couldn't, you couldn't push it out. So I was in there and he took off and left me in the washing machine or it was a dryer, one or the other. Anyway, I don't know how much longer it was, but my dad came out to the garage where our washer and dryer were and he found me with my face plastered up against, you know, hey, hello. And he let me out and oh my brother got in big trouble. But I did I'm you know. Look at this. Ringer washers. Wow. I never had one of those. Or I should say my parents didn't while I was a kid. Vacuum cleaners. Oh boy, these things look like they weigh a ton. Television sets. Oh, record players. Mm. Yep, the good old days of record players. Oh, look at this. Instruments. That's cool. Look at all the accordions. You had choices. <laughs> Not just one. Harmonicas. I used to play the harmonica. Can do a mean, amazing grace on harmonica. Electric guitars, typewriters, wow. Stationery. Okay, I'm gonna take some chunks here. Office furniture. Look at all the Bibles. The Bibles. You could buy Bibles and <laughs> music, musical nun doll with rosary box. So you open it and what she spins around and let, it plays Ave Maria. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. School bag. Video equipment. Insulated some town suits. Hmm. Wonder if that's for just oh, look at this, you could buy guns. Lots and lots of guns. Wow. Look at that. From camera equipment to browning automatics. High powered rifles. You know, there was a lot of hunting back then. My dad used to hunt. And so we actually had a closet full of, you know, guns for when he went hunting. And, you know, that was just the thing. And one day, he gave it up. He got a deer. You know, they used to bring it home and dress it and the whole thing. I didn't need it. I didn't like it. But he decided... He was just done hunting. That was it. And he never went hunting again. So, yeah. Wow, look at these bear traps. Tries. Wow. Bikes. Oh, these are great bikes. Oh my goodness, girls' bikes and boys' bikes. And then sports equipment. 
ice skates. Wow, lots of choices. And camping, tents. I keep saying this, but Montgomery Ward's just had it all. Hat hatchets, axes. Look at this, electronics, plugs, switches. Wow, I mean, all right, home lighting. Oh my gosh, look at this. I apologize for going fast, but <laughs> I gotta get through a thousand pages. Look at the pink, the pink bathrooms, pink, blue, yellow, and green. And white, of course, you had an option. Mirrors. I guess if you were building a house, you just don't need to go any further than Montgomery Ward's. Ceiling fan. Um, water heaters. Well pumps, look at that. Well piston systems. Pipes, pipes. My goodness, I never knew that Montgomery Wards sold stuff like this. Did you? I didn't. Look at that, radiator heaters. Downspouts. You know, configuring your downspout your, for your rain gutters. Plywood. Plywood. Wow. -wee. Windows. This must be for if you're building a house or remodeling. Modular kitchen, um, you know, putting your modular kitchen together. That's so cool. Door handles. Wow. I don't even know what that thing is. It's a jointer. Whatever a jointer is, Montgomery Ward's sold jointers. Arc welders. AC, DC, arc welders. They just... Plain... Uh, you know, plain... Look at all these tools. Wood carving tools. Knives, pocket knives. Okay, this is, you know, socket and tool sets. Chains. You need some chain? Ladders. Tire chains, snow chains. Wow. Tires, okay. Lots of tires, horns, <laughs> car polish. Look at all this stuff for your car. Headlights that you can order, replacement mirrors and steering wheels, and car uh, seat covers. This is just amazing. White wall tire trim. Air compressors. Shocks. Okay. And the rest of this is all like technical car stuff. Mufflers, chains, belts. Okay. Oh. My goodness, okay. You can buy a dog. 
You can buy a dog, a pedigree dog, from Montgomery Ward's catalog. And it comes in a box, in a dog box. You can buy a beagle. That's not a beagle. <laughs> That's a collie, okay. German Shepherd, Cocker Spaniel, a toy poodle, a dachshund, chihuahua, wire-haired fox terrier, a Dalmatian, uh, it says Labrador Retriever, I don't see the lab, Pomeranian, Weimaraner, Boxer, Boston Terrier, a Pekingese, right here, Smooth Fox Terrier, Doberman Pincher, and an Irish Setter, which I don't see here either. You can order a dog. I mean, I guess, I just, I had no idea. I know people can buy dogs and have them shipped. So I just didn't know you could do it out of a Montgomery Ward catalog. I'll order some bulbs and a dog. Okay, this is all yard stuff. And then, how to order stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then the index. And then the last page is some gifts. Various gift things that you can buy. <sighs> the back cover is a vacuum cleaner. Okay, I'm signing off from here and thank you for walking through this magazine with me. Magazine catalog. I think this is the biggest catalog. I've seen 1,100 pages. Tell me what you think, if you were even able to get through it all. I know it's a lot of blah, 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 but um, I wish you well. I wish you peace. Thank you for being here in my life. Thank you for your positivity. Thank you for sharing that with me and with others on this channel. I see what you guys write, you know, in support of other people and their comments, and I'm so touched by that. So, with that, I'll sign off and see you in the very next video. Goodbye. <laughs>